uh, in the last lecture uh, I have discussed about this uh, design of low pass filters. I started with the first order, then second order and uh, in order to design the higher order filters, we can cascade the first order and second order sections. Today we will discuss about the second type of the filter which is uh, high pass filter. Here also first I will start with the first order, then I will discuss the second order and the design of higher order filters. First order. active high pass filter. So, the circuit diagram of this high pass filter can be obtained by just uh, interchanging the capacitance and resistance of uh, low pass filter. This is the feedback circuit. This is same as low pass filter. This is R1 RF. Whereas here you have to exchange the R and C. So, for low pass filter, here capacitance was there, here resistance was there. Now, this is reverse. This is the circuit diagram of the first order active high pass filter. I will derive the transfer function, I will show that this will act as high pass filter. Let us assume that this is some V1 of S. I will take all capital letters, say V i of S, V o of S. If I know this V1 of S, then output is simply this is non inverting amplifier. So, output V0 of S is given by V1 of S into 1 plus Rf by R1. We defined this 1 plus Rf by R1 as A0. This is A0 times V1 of S where A0 is closed loop gain 1 plus Rf by R1. Now, we have to express this V1 in terms of Vi so that we can take the ratio of uh, V out to V in. So, what is V1 of S in this circuit? This is voltage divider. So, V1 of S is given by total voltage which is Vi of S and we are going to take the uh, voltage across the resistor. So, resistance divided by R plus 1 by SC. So, this is equal to S R C divided by 1 plus S R C into V i of S. This is V 1 of S. If you substitute this V 1 of S here, then what is V o of S is equal to A 0 times S R C divided by 1 plus S R C times V i of S. Then the transfer function is given by H of S which is the transfer function output Laplace transform by input Laplace transform. This is given by A 0 times S R C divided by 1 plus S R C. So, this is the transfer function of the first order high pass filter and if you want to study the frequency characteristics, we can use the frequency response. So, what is the frequency response H of j omega? Yes, you have to replace with j omega. So, right hand side also you have to replace s with j omega. So, you will get s r c, s is j omega r c divided by 1 plus s r c j omega r c. 
Now here I am going to define say Fc is the cutoff frequency this is equal to 1 by 2 pi Rc. I am going to prove that Fc is 1 by 2 pi Rc later. If I assume that Fc is 2 pi Rc then what is omega c 2 pi into Fc is equal to 1 by Rc. This 2 pi into Fc is nothing but omega c. So, either you can express in terms of the omega c or Fc, it is up to you. If you want to express in terms of uh, Fc, what will be h of, it, h of uh, j omega? This Rc becomes 1 by Fc. So, h of j omega is equal to a naught times j times 2 pi f r c divided by 1 plus j 2 pi f r c. What is 2 pi r c from this? 2 pi r c is equal to 1 by f c. So, if you substitute this here, this is a 0 times j times f and 2 pi r c is of psi. So, 1 by f c divided by 1 plus j times f into remaining 2 pi r c is f c 1 by f c. This is the frequency response and if you take the magnitude of this frequency response. So, a 0 numerator is f by f c magnitude of j is unity and the denominator is square root of 1 plus f by f c whole square. We can easily see that at f is equal to 0. What will be the magnitude of h of uh, j omega? f is 0 means this is 0, this is 0. So, 0 by 1 which is equal to 0. For large values of the f, that is f is much much greater than f c. So, what happens? This f by f c is much much greater than 1. So, I can neglect this one when compared with this f by f by f c. So, this is square root of f by f c square. So, this f by f c f by f c will get cancelled. So, implies you will get modulus of h of j omega is simply a 0. Because this f by f c this f by f c square root of uh, square will get cancelled. So, now if I plot this response. see h of j omega or j 2 pi f in fact is a function of f. So, you can also call it as f also 2 pi is scaling. So, at f is equal to 0 this is having 0 value. So, this starts with 0. For larger values this becomes a naught somewhere here this is a naught. So, this will move in this fashion it will finally reach at high frequencies a naught. And also you can see that at f is equal to f c so this will be modulus of h of j omega this f by f c becomes unity this becomes unity 1 plus 1 is 2 1 by root 2 this is a 0 by root 2 is 0 0.707 times a naught. So, this is 0 0.70 times a naught this will be f c whose expression is you have taken this one as 1 by 2 pi r c. So, if I take this f c then you will get 0 0.707 times a naught value at this particular cutoff frequency. So, if I take in terms of the d b this will be 0 d b if I start with 0 d b this will be minus 3 d b. 
So, the cutoff frequency will be normally defined as the frequency at which the gain drops by 3 dB. And if I take this roll off ratio of uh, this, normally this will call as pass band and this will call as stop band. So, in the pass band if I take the roll off ratio, so this roll off ratio of this slope. is 20 dB per decade. If I take the ideal uh, frequency response, it should be something like this. So, in order to get this response uh, near to the ideal response, you have to increase the roll off in this uh, pass band. Okay. So, in order to get the double uh, roll off, we have to go for the second order filter. This is first order filter. So, we have to go for the second order filter. So, if I consider the second order uh, high pass filter, We will be having two sections of RC. In general, I have taken the diagram of second order filter in terms of Y1, Y2, Y3. This is the diagram. This is V i of s, this is V 0 of s, this we call as y 1, y 2, y 3, y 4. For this we have derived the expression for V 0 of s by V i of s in the previous uh, lectures, but the values of this y 1, y 2, y 3, y 4 will be different for low pass and high pass filters. Here this will be having uh, C R C R in case of high pass filter and this will be reverse in case of low pass filter. So, what is derivation? This is the one which we have derived. This is the y 1, y 2, y 3, y 4. I will take this same as it is A naught into y 1, y 2, divided by y1 y2 plus y4 into y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y2 y3 1 minus a naught right so this was the expression that we have derived already now here for high pass filter this is the generalized one For high pass filter, this circuit becomes so. Here we will be having capacitance, here we will be having resistance, here capacitance, here resistance. So, 
So, what is y1? Is y2 also because this is y1, y2 both are capitalized tenses. This is simply a C and uh, y2, y3 is equal to y4, which is equal to 1 over r. So, if I substitute these values here, what will be the transfer function v0 of s by vi of s is equal to a0 into sc into sc, s square c square divided by again s square c square plus y4 is 1 by r, y1 plus y2 plus y3 is 2 sc plus 1 by r plus y2 y3, y2 y3 is sc by r into 1 minus a naught. So, if I further simplify this, what will be LCM in the denominator? A0 S square C square. So, this R you can take here S C R and this you can take overall divided by R. This is S C R. Now, this R R becomes R square. So, 1 by r square is the LCM in the denominator that will go to the numerator. So, we will get here s square r square c square plus 2 s c r plus 1 and here we will get r is there. So, we will get 1 r in the numerator s c r into 1 minus a naught. So, it will be coefficient of uh, s in the denominator this is 2 SCR, this is SCR, so becomes 3 SCR. So, SCR if I take as a common, we will get this one as A0 S square C square R square divided by S square R square C square plus SCR if I take as common. We will get 3 minus a naught plus 1. If I take r square c square also common, h of s which is equal to v0 of s by v i of s is equal to, if I take uh, r square c square as common, this r square c square get cancelled, this becomes 1 by r c this becomes 1 by r square c square. So, this will be a 0 s square a 0 into s square divided by s square plus in s r c it becomes 3 minus a 0 by r c times s plus 1 by r square c square. Here this will be 1 by r c. So, 3 minus a 0 by r c into s plus 1 by r square c square. Here also the cutoff frequency uh, omega c is equal to 1 by r c or f c is equal to 1 by 2 pi r c. We can easily check that at this particular frequency this uh, gain v 0 by v i of s will be 1 by root 2 times that of the gain at omega is equal to 0. Okay. Then what will be this h of s? a 0 s square is nothing but j omega square. If I take j omega here the frequency response divided by j omega square plus 3 minus a naught by r c j omega plus 1 by r square c square minus a 0 j square is minus 1 omega square divided by minus omega square plus 3 minus a naught into j 1 by r c nothing but omega c 
omega by omega c plus 1 by r square omega square is nothing but omega c square. So, what will be the magnitude of this h of j omega is equal to a 0 omega square divided by square root of real part is omega c square minus omega square whole square plus 3 minus a naught into omega by omega c whole square. We can easily see that uh, at omega is equal to 0, you will get a naught So, if this omega is equal to 0 means regardless of this denominator modulus of h of j omega is 0. At omega is equal to infinity, you can see that this omega square if I take as common this can be written as a 0 divided by this omega square whole square if I take outside this will be omega square this omega square omega square will get cancelled this omega square will get cancelled. So, we will get this one as square root of omega c by omega square minus 1 whole square plus 3 minus a naught times 1 by omega omega c. So, at omega is equal to infinity this is 0 0 minus 1 whole square is 1, this is 0, so this is simply 1, so this is equal to a naught. This is 0, this is 1, so this square root becomes this is 0 minus 1 whole square plus 0, which is nothing but square root of 1, which is 1, so only numerator a 0. So, this will act as high pass filter. For Butterworth filter as you have derived in the previous lectures, this is a damping factor zeta is given by 3 minus a naught, this is equal to root 2 for the second order filter. Similarly, if you want to design the higher order, we can cascade the lower order filters. If I take the third order, active high pass filter there will be three rc sections you see the circuit diagram i am not going to derive the transfer function but this circuit diagram will be of this form This is capacitance resistance, capacitance resistance, capacitance resistance. This will be grounded, this will be grounded, this will be connected to the output. So, the advantage of this one is the roll off rate will here will be in the pass band this roll off rate will be minus 60 dB per decade. In second order it is 40 dB per decade. And if I want the fourth order, you can cascade two second order sections. So, this is one second order section. then you cascade to another second order section. Now, 
this is say r1 dash rf dash the gains may be different this is overall input this is overall output this is one second order this is another second order overall fourth order this even if you want to design you can design using cascading of one second order and first order so like that higher order uh, filters can be realized by cascading of uh, the lower order filters so you can design these filters in a similar manner i'll take one small example here design a first order active high pass filter with a pass band gain of two and cut off frequency of two kilohertz. So, designing in the sense we have to find out all the component values. This is the circuit diagram. You have to find out R1, RF, R and C. Finding these values is nothing but design. Determining these values is nothing but design. So, what are the values specifications that are given? Pass band gain. In nothing but A naught which is equal to 1 plus Rf by R1 this is given as 1 implies Rf is equal to R1 you can take any value which is available in your laboratory normally 10 kilo ohms you have to take the large value because this is going to affect the input resistance of the circuit ok. So, R1 I am setting to this 10 k even you can take larger value also this is also 10 k. Then to find out the R and C, we have the second specification which is cutoff frequency. So, we know that the cutoff frequency of either low pass or high pass filter is the same expression 1 over 2 pi R C. So, this is given as 2000. Let C is equal to 0 0.1 microfarads. In this design, first we have to assume the capacitance values because if I get uh, any uh, other values which are not uh, like 0.1 and 0.01 and all, so it becomes difficult to design the filter. Okay? That is why you have to start with the available capacitance values, then you find out the resistance. We can uh, find out the resistance value by series and parallel combinations of uh, the available resistors. So, implies what is R 1 over 2 pi into 2000 into C is 0 0.1 microfarads. This I think you will get 67.5 kilo ohms. So, similarly you can design the second order filter also, fourth order filter also. For the second order filter we have take uh, damping factor as root 2. We have uh, discussed about the design of uh, second order and higher order low pass filter here also the region procedure is exactly same. So, next the third type of uh, filter is called uh, band pass filter. So, in many of the communication applications so this band pass uh, filter is useful. If I take the ideal band pass filter it allows a band of frequencies. If we take the frequency response magnitude of h of j omega j f or says frequency 
this is unity, this is 0, this is F L and this is F H. F L is called lower cutoff frequency, F H is called higher cutoff frequency and the middle value we can call as center frequency, this is center of these two. So, this difference is called as bandwidth. F H is larger, so F H minus F L. This is the ideal one, practically it will be something like this. at f is equal to f naught center frequency, this is maximum normal unit r it can be a 0 and at 1 by root 2 0 0.707 times of this peak value this particular frequency is called lower cutoff frequency, this is called higher cutoff frequency. So, f 0 is called center frequency. FL is lower cutoff frequency, and FH is called higher cutoff frequency. And there is one important term like quality factor is going to decide how effective is this uh, band pass filter. also can be called as a figure of merit, this q is given by f 0 divided by bandwidth, it is f 0 divided by f h minus f l and the relation between the these three are f 0 is equal to square root of f l into f h. So, depends upon whether this bandwidth is large or small, we have wide band pass filter and narrow band pass filter. BPF is band pass filter. If bandwidth is large, what happens to Q? Denominator is large means Q is less. Bandwidth is large means this is wide band pass filter. For a wide band pass filter, as the name implies, bandwidth will be large, but Q will be less. So, normally Q less than 10 is called as wide band pass filter. If bandwidth is small means Q is large. So, q greater than 10 it is called as narrow bandwidth. For narrow bandwidth filter q is greater than 10 and a wide band pass filter q is less than 10. So, we will discuss the design of uh, the narrow band and wide band pass uh, filters in the next lecture. Thank you. Mm -hmm.